to the 2021st International Conference on Technology, Language, Education, and Culture, Global Leaders and Educators Awards. I am here to share with you some insights on parent-teacher partnership and adaptive learning technique during online distance learning. The outline of my talk will focus on communication and collaboration strategy for teachers in improving communication with parents and the role of parents in minimizing the impact of the pandemic on their children's academic performance and well-being. According to the United Nations report in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has created the largest disruption of education systems in history. The pandemic brought about closures of schools and other learning spaces affecting the world's student population in low and lower middle income countries. According to the United Nations Policy Brief, Education During COVID-19 and Beyond 2020. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought an enormous challenge in the Philippine education system. This includes the schools, the administrators, the educators, the students and the parents as well. The Philippine Education Secretary, Leonor Magtolis Briones, once said, and I quote, education must continue even in times of crisis, whether it may be a calamity, disaster, emergency, quarantine, or even war. With this great challenge, the teachers have had to adapt to new methods of educating their students and staying connected to their communities. Most parents are doing all they can in enormously difficult circumstances to minimize and mitigate the significant disruption of learning caused by school closures. During the pandemic, Learning has become highly dependent on the use of technology. Globally, a large number of schools in urban areas are conducting online classes for students. In areas with limited connectivity, education providers have used more traditional distance learning methods or a, a mix of educational television and radio programming, as well as distribution of print materials. In the same UN 2020 report, as shown in figure one on the next slide, countries have chosen different modes of distance education depending on education level with variability across regions. On this slide, we can actually see the different traditional learning methods used by or preferred by these countries. Radio, television, paper-based learning, and online. If we can notice, the country's choice of distance learning schools um, closure was influenced by education level and in region. If we can see from the slides alone, online distance learning or online mode of traditional distance learning method has gained a lot of percentage in, in this kind of situation. And then in this, the same slide, the distance education systems used in terms of percent of countries and by region, we can say that online distance or method is actually being used by, by African countries, Asian countries, even in Europe, Latin America, the Caribbean, and the Oceania. 
as per the latest data from the Teaching and Learning International survey or the tallies, only 56% of teachers across the OECD or the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development receive training in the use of ICT for teachers as part of their formal education or training. And only 43% of teachers felt well or very well prepared for this element when they completed their initial education training. Hence, in educators need to develop an effective education quality policy in the new normal. Therefore, will actually eventually also require the development of new adjustment strategies for all key stakeholders. It calls also for a renewed collaboration between teachers and parents who must work together in the best interest of the students. The parents are a crucial link between children and schools. The importance of a healthy and strong partnership between parents and other caregivers with teachers is a well-recognized and researched topic in education, according to School and Parents Developing Partnership by Ofsted in 2011. According to these um, several studies, they have proven the collaboration between parents and teachers improves children's academic achievement, work habits, social skills, and emotional well-being, according to establishing healthy partner-teacher relationship for early learning success by Susan Sheridan in 2018. For teachers in improving communication with parents, we have here some um, recommendations. Number one is to know the parents or to know the parents of the students. To develop a strong relationship with parents, the teachers must have information about who they are, what they do, and how they are coping in the pandemic. Where possible, make use of online surveys, understand and support parents ex uh, what they expect from from schools and then we have to know also to talk to parents frequently um, clarity and usefulness of communication is very crucial to keep parents engaged teachers must contact parents regularly to give updates on activities planned for their child and ask for feedback Appointing a, a parent representative to exchange information with a group of parents is often useful. Next is build support system. We can create a, a body system for parents to help their peers to cope with the demands of the new learning systems. Maybe a design on non-academic activities that involve families as a group and allow socializing with other either virtually or physically if possible the next is provide access to psychological counseling this um whenever of course whenever resources are available many families are under increased pressure because of the ongoing pandemic and may need psychological mentoring where possible and practical involve school counselors in meetings with parents to give guidance on dealing with stress and to bolster men's mental health and then build capacity create a one-stop platform for parents to keep them informed about all the learning activities assignments and teaching tools used by the schools or the teachers for distance education. 
they can also organize online workshops or design multimedia tutorials to train parents in using e-learning tools. This report has found that um, the, the greatest success stories were to be found where a parent was a good communicator. As a role of the parents, after the efforts that are being done by the, by the educators, we cannot negate from the role of the parents. Parents should be a, a good communicator. Parents should share their concerns about the education of their child with the teacher. They should also inform the teacher if the child has any special educational needs or disabilities and which will actually require um, extra help. Another role of parent is to be an active caretaker. As a primary caregiver, parents should provide a working space in their home for their children to study and create an environment conducive to learning at home. This is very important. Another role of the parent is to have a routine builder. Teachers require the help of parents to ensure that their students participate consistently in remote learning programs and complete their assigned tasks on time and to the best of their ability. In particular, it falls to the parents to manage their child's timetable of lessons and to ensure that they keep up with their schoolwork. Another concern or another role for the parent is to be a vigilant guardian. This is very important also. Parents should take responsible action to protect their children from harm online including against um, violations of their right to privacy as well as cyberbullying, sexting, and other forms of harassment. Besides using parental controls, the parents should talk to their child about how to stay safe online, including to suggest guidance and resources from trusted third parties. In particular, educators suggest that children shouldn't be left unattended online for several hours. Parents and guardians should regularly check on them and the content that they are watching. Next role of a parent is to be friendly. If possible, parents should help children when they have problems with learning tasks. Parents must teach children the importance of practicing hygiene and maintaining good health. Parents have to monitor children to stay positive and develop the life skills necessary to survive and thrive during periods of crisis. The collaboration between educators and parents is the foundation of the education system in the new normal as they are the first point of contact for students and for all educational needs. All the stakeholders should come to support their partnership to ensure that children receive education seamlessly in times of the pandemic. That's all. I hope you gained something from this um, international conference. And then this is Ms. Maria Ivet Nanyana from De La Salle University, Laguna Campus, Philippines. Thank you.